Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we had babies. Got a little baby wolf, another baby wolf, and a baby cat. And they haven't been named yet. That's right. So we have two juvenile dire wolves. We have a juvenile saber tooth. And I have a cat on my lap who is looking at me like I am moderately insane, but that's not altogether uncommon. So interesting thing, the baby wolves, as you might recall from the last time around, never had any problems and all of their stats are basically at apparently where they're going to be. Just taking a look now, because they didn't really pay close attention to the wolves numbers last time around. Are they the exact same? Because I know the patch notes said exact same, 209.3. Yep, they are. They are the exact same. That's interesting. Um, I just set everyone to neutral. That was the wrong button. It's okay. They'll, they'll all be fine. Let's bring the torch back up. So, I don't know how many arc days have passed at this point, but probably a couple. Um, I've had to basically leave the game for a bit, and now that I've had a chance to sit down and record again, like I said, I, I truly, I don't know how many days have passed, but that's okay, because these guys, these little guys here are going to continue to grow, and I think they'll be okay. And Proud Mama and Papa, they're watching, of course, making sure everything is good over here. So today's episode is going to be what I kind of thought we would do with the last episode, and that is take care of, well, at the very least, one kind of big problem. I'm going to show you what that problem is right now. You might recall from a couple of episodes ago, we took a couple of raptors, had them mate, and things seemed to work out okay. Let me show you the problem. Mandar over here, Mandar, 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 has a bunch of fertilized eggs. Now, most of them are dilo eggs because I'm just picking them up as the dilos happen to mate while they're wandering around, which... It's actually pretty interesting to me that I've found four of them thus far, considering, I mean, look at that. They're just wandering around, and they don't stay nearby all that long, and yet uh, we've managed to get four of them. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. They must all be getting stuck in the same place or something. But I'm not really concerned with hatching any of those right now because I want those to be protected so they don't spoil. Now, if we take one more look at Mandar... You can see, the eggs have a long time. Truly, they're not going to spoil anytime soon. Well, this one may, if I'm not careful when I go to hatch it. But the rest, you know, they have a long time to spoil because they're sitting on an animal. But it seems kind of silly to have them sitting on an animal. So, considering it's something I should have done a long time ago, and it's something I've been meaning to do anyway... We're going to work on a few other things this episode, but uh, I might need to get a few more supplies in order before we do that. I'm still playing the collection game, but I wanted to check in with you so you can just see where the babies are. They're actually adolescents now. If I bring that up, you can see they're all adolescents, but I just thought I'd hide everything, so it makes it easier to see them. You can tell definitely have longer tails than they used to. That goes for both the wolves as well as the cat. And you can really see their colors now. You can see, well, this male boy here. He looks a lot like Mom. Quite a bit, really. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe he has uh, Dad's coloring and Mom's mane. I think that's actually what he has. Yeah, and we already kind of talked about the wolves a little bit. They, I mean, both parents are pretty light in color. Just the... They kind of have mom's paws there, so, and, and dad's tail, I believe. No, mom's tail and mom's tail and dad's paws, mom's paws, and I don't know, they look like mom. We're going to leave it at that, but I'm still gathering materials, so uh, one more pause and then we'll get started on everything. Checking in one more time with the not quite so small animals anymore, I mean, uh, yeah, they're not quite full size, but you can see they're definitely getting big. They are adolescents, so they're, you know, well over halfway. Cat, of course, is a little further along than the wolves are, but uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby. But I think we're ready to get started on what we need to do today to basically keep everything safe. And uh, 
This will be good just because I have all sorts of junk everywhere that... No, nope, I, I didn't mean to actually hop on Spike yet here. Uh, just because, you know, got a lot of things that probably should be trying to store safely. Wow, there's a lot of uh, fertilizer waiting to be made. I'm just going to drop that off in here and uh, maybe let that get started on something. I think the other box is pretty full, but we're going to hop inside here in just a moment. Uh, mostly full here. We'll go ahead and throw that one in there too because it'll make room momentarily. And uh, I guess for the time being, we can go ahead and just load this one up. That's fine. Not a big deal. So I have the forge going. It's still working on a lot of metal. Um, yeah, it's still working on a lot of metal. And then we have this guy over here, which is pretty much ready to go. Now, at some point, I found a blueprint. I don't remember. That might have been... I hope that wasn't before I spent the points on a generator. But because, you know, I mean, if we go into structures here, I have the generator engram yeah i don't know i i don't remember it's kind of too late now but we'll go ahead and pop one of these guys out so that's going to give me a generator and i'll go ahead and put that in the slot down there if we go back to electric go ahead and do refrigerator i don't remember buying the engram but i did at some point now kind of a problem here i oh look at that i got a level i don't have a whole lot of points that i can uh spread around everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little more health. I'm going to put you on number seven. Now, I'm obviously going to need some electrical cable. Um, probably going to need a few more ingots, so we'll see how many... Ah, oh, crud. I didn't mean to turn it off. I meant to access it. Bummer. And only has 17 ready. That's kind of a shame. It's all right, though. It's okay. We're getting there. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump these in there for right now. Now, I'm obviously going to need to make some more gasoline. That's why I have a bunch of oil on me, and uh, I suppose I could just go ahead and dump that in there right now and throw those hides in there and just kind of see what it decides to make. I don't need the oil or the uh, gasoline right now. I still have 36. I don't have a ton, but I do have some. So let's see where we can place this generator. See, I was a little worried that this thing was going to be a little too big for me to squeeze it inside. But it looks like if I'm willing to turn it sideways, which I don't see any reason why that would be a problem, that I might be okay. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to, uh, to drop it down just yet. Let's see, what happens? Can I stand in the doorway here? I mean, maybe I could just tear the wall down for the moment so I can really see what I'm doing. I mean, that, that doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, it... It's actually fitting in there, which is kind of what I want. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and be okay with that. I mean, why not? Let's go ahead and do something like that. And I'm just trying to see where I can spin it around to. I guess that does kind of fit right there. It doesn't seem like it does, but whatever. It Actually looks like it fits just fine to me. I have a good two inches of clearance on top. I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. So I'm going to need to run some power. Now, my thought is to maybe put the refrigerator up here somewhere. And actually, if I put it right up here, that makes it super simple to power this guy. But I'm kind of also thinking I wouldn't mind having multiple refrigerators depending on how this turns out. That window might be in a bad place. If I have a fridge right there, I guess that window is still useful, just not as useful as it could be, but I can always remove this stuff later on. It's not a huge, huge deal. Although, do I have a window up there? Yeah, that window, well, that window doesn't do much good anyway, but it's actually fine where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first refrigerator right there. That is unpowered. With any luck, I'll be able to get it powered up in fairly short order. Let's see. I'm going to need to make some... Oh, what do we need? We need a vertical cable for one. And we're going to need probably an electrical outlet. That would be good. But I'm thinking maybe of an intersection first. 
and I'm probably going to end up redoing all this stuff. I'm just kind of trying to get this online for the for the moment, just kind of a, a quick solution. Put that in there. That's that's going to be fine, I, I hope. So let's go ahead and connect a cable to this guy. Assuming I can see what I'm doing. I might actually have to run the cable out and then uh, kind of bring it back in. I can't really tell what I'm doing. And it's not connecting to the generator. There it is. I think that's connecting to the generator. We're going to say it is. Now, I can't tell. Do you actually go all the way out? It does not look like it. So let's go ahead and make one more. This is going to be really ugly. But, like I said, all I really care about right now is getting it online. I can worry about prettying things up a little later. Let's go ahead and grab one more electrical cable there. One more vertical cable, that is. Let's see if I can connect it. I, I can't... Again, I can't see what I'm doing. I have no idea if that's connecting. Uh, that is a little worrisome. Nope, wrong one. Nope, still the wrong one. Let's put that away. I'm guessing that's connecting to my cable inside. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that is. Let's, um... Nope, wrong one. Let's go up to the top here. This is a little haphazard. It's not obvious. And you can put the weapon away. We don't need that right now. Okay, so I'd like to... Ah, uh, really? Ah, uh, come on. That was not cool. I just stepped slowly to the edge and away I went. So maybe if I do it this way, here I'll crawl, crawl, crawl on my way over. There we go. That seemed to work out a little better. Put the stupid gun away. It's not a gun. But put it away. Okay, I cannot tell where that needs to go. I have no clue whatsoever. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get rid of that ceiling tile. I think that's going to be the best way to make sure I do this correctly. I can remake another one, obviously. Since I made those, I can go ahead and make another one. Put the stupid gun away. Okay, let's slowly fall onto the corner here. And we'll go ahead and get rid of you. And, of course, I can't see anything now because all that junk is in the way. If you would like to go ahead and vanish, that would be really helpful. Guessing that's the spot right there. There we go. I figured if I got rid of the one, I could see right through there. Perfect. So we can go ahead and do... Ah, man, maybe I shouldn't have put that one there. Maybe what I should have done. Here, let's let's do that instead. I, I like the idea of that. Since I know where this needs to go now. We'll go ahead and get rid of the top one. And we're going to go ahead and put the intersection in. Assuming I can do so. That'll be fine. And then we'll go ahead and I think this will be well within range. And this will actually work out kind of well, I believe. We'll do that. That's going to go ahead and connect inside. So now the refrigerator is powered. So let's go ahead and grab some gasoline here. And I'm going to have to make a lot of gasoline so I can keep this thing running at all times. I mean, obviously that's the point of a generator, right? You want it running all the time. And let's go run upstairs. There we go. It is powered because it is green. It has 48 slots available. So what I should do at this point is probably pick up Mandar. That would be the easiest way to do things. And I'm going to grab... Oh man, these are all way too heavy, aren't they? Um, hmm, bummer. I, wow, look at that. I have 91 pounds of raptor eggs just lying around waiting to be made into kibble. Now let's go ahead and dump all of these guys in here. They're not the most important ones, but I just want to go ahead and throw them in there. And we'll set Mandar down. Apologies for kind of flinging you, Mandar. Didn't really have much 
other choice at the moment, though. And we'll go ahead and put all of these guys in here. So now they are going to keep forever and ever. Look at that. They're pretty much going to be fine. All this stuff has way longer than I anticipate anyone is ever going to want or need to have in there. But that's exactly what I wanted to do. I want to make sure that all of these are good to go and we don't have anything to worry about. And besides, it's been a long time coming that I actually put a refrigerator together and get electricity going. So let's set Mandar back down. That was really kind of not how I meant to do that. And I didn't mean to turn that off, but there you go. You can stand right there in the middle of the room. That's fine. So I need to obviously put my roof back together. I'll do that. I'll do that off camera because uh, I don't think that's a super big thing. But before we call it an episode, let's just take one last look at our little kittens and puppies over here. So we have dad just kind of hanging out. Look at that. They are getting pretty darn big. Pretty big. Cat is actually really close. Wolves are actually bigger than the cat now. Look at that. You guys are getting close. You're growing. I have refilled this thing with a ton of meat. And it's all spoiling. Because I put so much in there. And uh, they're slowly chewing through it. Because they're actually not eating anything that I have on them. Because I had kind of loaded them up with meat a little too. Yeah, and their stuff's spoiling. But that's okay. So we're going to call it an episode right there. I think on the next one we might have some adult dire wolves and an adult cat. And uh, still probably need to think about naming them at some point, huh? I don't like naming them until they're a little bigger. Although I guess at this point I kind of understand how the system works. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal. But I will catch you on the next one. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later.